Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today I am doing my spring shoe haul roundup, whatever you want to call it. Highly requested video sharing all of the shoes that I feel like you just absolutely need for like the perfect stylish wardrobe this summer. Everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop along with like hair, makeup, outfit details. All of it is going to be down there. So make sure that you check that out. Also, a lot of these shoes are sold at multiple places. So I will probably link a couple of the shoes from different retailers, just depending on stock sizes and all of that. So that if you really want a pair, you can get your hands on them. While you're down in the description bar, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the fam. You can follow me here on YouTube. You can follow my husband and I on our vlog channel. Um, I'll link that right here for you guys. You can follow me on my Instagram, I post a ton of this stuff there as well. I also have a blog that you can follow me on. So lots of like fashion resources, beauty resources and stuff like that. So click the subscribe button, follow along, join the internet fam, and let's go ahead and get started. Of course you don't need 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 like any of these shoes honestly these are a lot of extra shoes but i really love fashion i mean literally i have that entire shoe rack behind me that's almost completely empty because i just have like so many pairs of shoes there that i wear so again these aren't necessities but i love them so much and i will start off with these sandals so sandals are my most worn shoe for the spring and summertime because obviously they're the easiest to just slip on run out the door but also they keep your feet the coolest because you're not like trapped in like a booty all day. So the first pair of sandals are probably no shock to anyone. Tory Burch Miller sandals are some of the best sandals. They have been the best sandals that everybody's talked about for God, as long as I can remember. I graduated college almost four years ago this May and that sounds crazy but even when I was in college, these were like the sandals. So Tory Burch Miller sandals come in so many different colors. Um, I think this is like the true patent leather. I think you can get like a genuine leather in them as well. Seriously, so many colors. And they are a higher ticket price than some of the other shoes that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. But I mean, these look almost brand new and I've had them for, I think this will be my third year with them. So they last a really long time. I did size up half a size in these, but the longer you wear them, the more they're going to kind of conform to your feet. And these go with so many things. You can dress them up, dress them down. They are honestly just such a good staple sandal. I wanted to include these in the sandal category because they are sandals but these aren't like necessarily the most fashionable shoe. So these are from Walmart. They're like 11 or 13 bucks. I have them in the pink and the white. And these are actually the shoes that I keep by my front door. I just slip them on and I'm going to check the mailbox. I have to like run a quick errand and I'm not, you know, super worried about how I look. Um, some people think that these are like really cute stylish shoes that they can wear on a regular basis. And while I do think they're really cute, they're probably not what I would just like wear with an average outfit. Like maybe if I was going to the pool, the lake, something like that. But um, like I said, these aren't like the most stylish in my opinion, but, but they are really, really comfortable. Um, for these, I went up to a 41, but with the white ones, those sizes were a little bit different and I had to get a 910. So I usually wear a nine and a half. That's my true size. So sizing on these is a little bit odd. Do keep that in mind, but honestly, they're like 11, 13 bucks from Walmart. Really cute, come in every color under the sun and they're really comfortable the longer you wear them too. These sandals are for sure a splurge. They are not a necessity, but there are some really cute dupes to these. They don't say Chloe on them. They say love, I think. I will link those for you guys in the description bar as well. They look very similar. So if you like this style, but don't want to pay the price, for sure get the dupe. They're really cute. These are the Chloe logo slide sandals and I got them in a 40, which is, I believe technically translates to like a 10. Um, so again, I went up half a size. These shoes only come available in full sizes and everything I saw multiple sites all said size up half. Do not size down. These are so freaking comfortable after you break them in, but holy crap, they are not comfortable at all when they first come out of the box. Um, I was actually a little bit nervous about that, but I had already seen people give that warning like, hey, they're going to be kind of stiff because this ribbon here is not meant to stretch over time. Like it's not meant to just get looser and looser until you can't wear the shoe anymore. Um, so they're going to come in really, really stiff. And then after you wear them like an hour max is when I really was like, oh, these are super comfortable. And sure enough, every time I wear them, the leather just gets so much more comfortable. And now I find myself reaching for these a lot. They come in so many colors, but I really wanted like the classic white and black. 
Okay, so I have two pairs of Steve Madden sandals here, and then I have one pair that I have ordered. So every summer, springtime, um, I feel like Steve Madden really kind of sets the standard and comes out with a sandal that is going to be like the it sandal every year. And honestly, you can wear them for years and years, but last year I noticed that these were kind of the sandal that everyone was talking about and now everyone has their own version of this sandal. I love these so much. I didn't get to wear them much last summer because we were literally on lockdown for most of the spring and once we did finally get that lockdown lifted it just it didn't feel that safe so i didn't get to wear these as much as i would have hoped but i got the clear and i love the way they feel they're really comfortable they're kind of hard to like show you guys because the straps but um in all steve madden shoes i go up half a size doesn't matter if it's sandals booties boots it does not matter steve madden i go up to a 10 and they all fit perfect so the only downside to these is just that they're a lot to put on because you you can see there's all these little straps but I love them very comfortable so this year Steve Madden kind of came out with a different sandal it's got that similar stud look to it it is that like classic sandal look but it doesn't have a back strap which makes me so excited so I did order these in a 10 from Nordstrom the other day hopefully they'll be in by the weekend they definitely won't be in in time for me to get this video up so I won't be able to show them what they look like on but I will report back on my Instagram stories once I do get them um, they look really comfortable though I hear a lot of great things about them and just like those stud sandals I hear that you know they're very comfortable and they go with a lot of stuff these are also the sandal I see everyone talking about and wearing and I got them and I was like, yes, like these are the sandals that are just so elevated. Like these are going to make your outfit just pushed a little bit more over the edge. They are so cute. These are the multicolor studs. I think they do have like ones that are more blue. And then I think they have one that like um, is a little bit more white. I can't quite remember the color. They are very comfortable, although they're very thin and they don't look like they should be. They are. The only thing about these is that they are loud. <laughs> so like, They're loud. Keep that in mind depending on what setting you want to wear these in, but 10 out of 10. Every time I wear these, the other day I wore them in Walmart, someone stopped me, asked where I got them. Uh, before that I was wearing them, I think it was at Target, and then I also went to Panera, got stopped both times from people, and they were like, uh, those shoes are fabulous, and one girl even was like, those are the Steve Madden shoes, aren't they? I ordered them. I'm excited for them to come in. Those are really cute. So these are just really fun. They're going to go with a lot of stuff, and they're perfect for spring and summer. Like I, if we do get the clearance to go on vacation this year, just pending everything that's going on, you best believe these are going to be the shoes I wear all summer long. So I have three pairs of sneakers here, and... One of them are like workout sneakers that honestly really aren't needed unless you um, are a runner or you need a good pair of athletic sneakers. But quarantine forced me to become a comfort girl, sneakers especially. And I have two pairs of shoes here. Um, they don't look similar, but they are both really great and they can go with a lot of different things. And I'm going to start with the most controversial shoe ever. And I always have to say this, like if you don't like golden gooses, it's like very rude to tell someone you think their shoes are ugly. So like if you don't like them, just don't buy them. I don't know why people have like such strong opinions about the Golden Goose sneakers because I personally think they are really cute even if they do look dirty. Golden Goose does have pure white sneakers now. Like you can get like very like crystal clean like white shoes if you don't love the dirty look but I don't know like if you don't like someone's shoes just like don't say anything but I really love the golden goose I like that they already look dirty because they already look worn in for me and honestly most of my shoes look like this by the end of summer anyway these are so so comfortable I have a full blog post up on the golden goose sneakers um, how I style them um, on why I think they are just so worth the money and I also talk a little bit about sizing and like the uniqueness of it because they are a lot more expensive than your average sneaker but they are Italian made and each pair is like genuinely handmade brand new so um, even if you got this same style shoe it may not have the exact same scuff marks on it in these same locations because they're handmade so I wear a 39 in these and they fit perfect and straight out of the box these were comfortable and I find that of course like the longer I wear them the more comfortable they get I mean I'm talking straight out of the box you could wear these all day with no issues whatsoever. I am a sneaker girl now and I freaking love these. 
If you like the sneakers but you want a more affordable option, I absolutely recommend these. And it's so funny. My mother-in-law looked at these shoes when I was wearing them and she was like, I kid you not, I had a pair of shoes that looked identical to those that were Reeboks in high school. So Reeboks have kind of come back around. I'm seeing a lot of people wear them, but it's funny because like a lot of people also deem these as like old people shoes. So they're very, very comfortable, which is probably why they're pegged as like older people shoes. Um, I think these were like $25, $27 on QVC. And the color I have is black, white gum, um, which is an interesting name for it, but I'm guessing because of the color of the like, bottom maybe. I did get a nine and a half in these. So these fit true to size. They go with a lot of stuff. And again, they're just really comfortable. And these were actually very comfortable straight out of the box too. I didn't really have a lot of break-in time with these. Now these are a pair of shoes that definitely aren't a necessity. But now that it is warmer out, I'm finally getting back into running again and it feels so good. I was only doing the bike workouts for cardio because it was just too dang cold out. So now that I'm running, I wanted a really good pair of running shoes. And these are the OnCloud X. Is, I believe. Um, they are, oh my gosh, so freaking comfortable. The sizing on these is a little bit odd. So I did not go off the size chart. I took a little quiz on the size chart on, for my size on their website when I was buying these. And I think it said I needed to go up to like a 10 and a half or something. And my mom was like, that's not true. Me and your father both have two different kinds of on clouds and both of us wear our true size. And so I was like, all right, I'll just keep the tags on them. And I, you know, we'll make sure they fit before I really move forward with them. So when they came in, Sure enough, nine and a half, and they fit perfectly. What I've kind of gathered just from my own research of talking to you guys about it is if you have a really wide foot, you need to go up half a size. But if you have a normal average size width foot, your true size should be fine for you. But again, now me and my parents, all three have different kinds of on clouds and they all fit true to size. So that just is what works for us. But as always, like definitely make sure you keep the tags on things, but I do just want to like throw out there that the size chart was very odd because if I would have gotten a 10 and a half in these, they would have absolutely had to gone back. These fit perfectly and I love these for running. Um, I use them for regular workouts as you can see. I mean, they're very dirty, but they are so comfortable. They were runner approved for sure. Last section I have here is heels. So every girl needs a good pair of heels and I have three pairs for you guys. They honestly all go with so much that you could go with just one pair of these shoes and you would be totally fine. So I'll start out with actually that pair. So these are Sam Edelman heels. And what I love about these is that they are obviously closed toe. So you're gonna be able to wear these to work. You're gonna be able to wear these winter time, spring time, summer time, year round. They are nude and they are so comfortable. The heel high on here is perfect. Not too high, not too low. And in all Sam Edelman shoes, I wear my true size nine and a half. Heel sandals, booties, it does not matter. Nine and a half and they all fit perfect. So these don't rub. Um, I don't have to add any little, like you know how sometimes you have to add things up here for your toes or down here for your feet or on the back nothing. No additions have been made to this shoe. It is really, really comfortable. And every time I wear these, I also get compliments on them just because they're such a classic style. Um, I'm not crazy about like leather closed toed shoes like this. So I really like the um, micro suede, I think is what they are called. But if you're a leather girl, go ahead and get leather. These are, oh my gosh, the most comfortable heels. I saw everybody and their mothers talking about these for years before I finally was like, you know what? I gotta know what all the hype is about. They are so, so comfortable. They have like a little curvy detail here on the front and it's like just enough to make them a little bit more interesting than just like an average nude shoe. Um, they have the Sam Edelman logo on the back right here. And again, like the, the sole says Sam Edelman, all Sam Edelman shoes will say this. Heel height is really great. And again, nine and a half in these. These are like my go-to wedding shoe because they're comfortable. You don't have to take them off. You can wear them in a wedding. You can wear them to attend a wedding. You can wear them to work. I'm not even kidding you guys. These are probably my most worn shoes in my closet for heels. And as you can tell, like my, by my toes, just, that's kind of gross, but I don't know how to like not make shoes do that. So you can definitely see I have gotten my wear out of these and I love them. And then the last pair of heels are definitely not a necessity. They are a little bit of a higher ticket price and I got them this year from Nordstrom and I am so happy because I just really wanted a pair of like 
clear heels that were really comfortable and these get a lot of positive reviews. So these are the Schutz, I believe is how you say it, heels. I got them in a tin, so I went up half a size. These pair so well with everything and surprisingly, they're really comfortable. Like I kind of got these in and I was like, mm. There's not a lot going on there. I don't know how these are going to wear. And I have been very impressed with them. I've worn them to two weddings so far, I believe. Or it was, yeah, it was two weddings. Um, and I also wore them for a very short period of time to a shower. And I love them every single time. Got compliments on them. They are just like the perfect edgy kind of trendy heel without being like super trendy and in your face. So that is why I love these again. They're not a necessity for sure. But if you want like a more sassy looking heel, these are going to be it. Okay guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media channels. Love to have you guys join the fam. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys so much. And I hope that I see you in my next video.